Hello everyone and welcome back to BSL Club. This is the place where you can learn British Sign Language and become deaf aware. Today's video is all about breakfast, food and drink. Are you ready? The sign for breakfast is using your hands, cl clasp your thumb and fingers together and imagine putting food in your mouth. Breakfast. And again, okay, now this is also the sign for eat or food in general. The next sign is cereal. So imagine your bowl and you're eating. And again, now this is also the sign for porridge, but your lip pattern will say porridge. And again, The sign for toast is if you imagine your bread popping out of your toaster. Toast. And again. And now you want to butter that toast. So imagine you, your left hand is acting like your toast. And then your right hand, this end hand shape, is acting as your butter. So spread the butter. Spread the butter on the toast, and that's butter. And again. Now the sign for jam is your whole hand, and that goes over your toast. And again. Good. The sign for milk, if you imagine milking a cow, you usually have to pull up and down. So the sign for milk comes from that. So stick out your thumb and finger, little finger on each hand and then pull up, up, up and down, milk. And again. Now the sign for bread, imagine slicing your bread back and forth across your hand. So your left hand is flat and your right hand is cutting across it. So bread, bread. Now the sign for white bread, white. Now the sign for white is your middle finger and your thumb and it goes on your body, not your, not your chest and it comes out, white. White. Now I have done um, already a video on different colours in BSL. So I would put the link up so that you can have a look at that just to rehearse colours or learn colours if you don't know them already. But the sign for white would be white and then bread. So white bread. Now the sign for brown is brown bread. And again. Okay. The sign for sausages, if you take your index finger and your thumb on both hands and then you have to sort of come out and then go in like a sausage, but then turn it so it's flat. So, and again, and the sign for bacon is similar, but it's more wavy. So imagine a rasher of bacon that's sometimes curled and becomes wavy. So. And again. Now some people sign bacon and that's okay too. Okay. Now the sign for cheese. Again, have your flat left hand and your right hand is flat, but it's coming at an angle, it's coming perpendicular and then you twist it. Cheese. And again. Cheese. The sign for tea. So if you think about when people have tea formally, they usually use a saucer and a teacup. So forget the saucer, most people just say tea. So put your index finger and your thumb against the side of your lip, tea. And again. And the sign for coffee is similar, but you use your C, C hand shape, coffee. And again, 
Now you may add milk to your coffee or you may um, add sugar. Now the sign for sugar is um, sort of squeezing your cheek together. So your thumb and your fingers are together. They come together on your cheek. So sugar. And again, sugar. Incidentally, that's also the sign for diabetic or if you have diabetes because of the sugar. Okay. So the sign for eggs, imagine cracking an egg on your left hand. So your left hand has your index finger kind of bent and your right hand similarly, but then you strike your right finger on your left, egg. And again, now the sign for pancake, imagine flipping a pancake in a frying pan. The sign for baked beans. So remember your B, the letter B in the alphabet. If you've not yet learnt the BSL alphabet, again, I'll link that um, in the card above so that you can um, practice that. But the sign for B is B. So baked beans. And again. Excellent. So the sign for juice, as in orange juice so the juice is a j the same way you would sign the letter j so again have a look at the alphabet video if you haven't learned your bsl alphabet yet but the sign for orange is like squeezing an orange at the side of your face so orange. sometimes people say orange juice with a little um, finger and make the J with their little finger, orange juice. I've seen that, but um, orange juice, you can also sign. And the same, of course, would be for apple, so apple juice. Apple, that's the sign for apple. Apple juice, or apple juice. The sign for any drink would be drink, which is, which is iconic and quite easy to learn. Drink. Okay, and the sign for water is putting your index finger and your thumb together and just go across your face, water, water, in small repetitive motion, so water. The sign for salt is just imagine holding a salt shaker, salt. And again, salt. The sign for thirsty is bring your um, right hand, keep your fingers together and your thumb and then bring them together across your neck. And again. And the sign for hungry is your thumbs up across your tummy. Some people say hungry, which is your thumb and your fingers together and it kind of bend forward on your body. Hungry. Hungry. But you can also sign hungry, which is probably a little bit easier. And the sign for full, full. If you're full up, so I'm full. Hungry, full. Okay, so it's quiz time then. I'm going to ask what would you want to eat? And then I'm going to reply with a list of things that I would like for breakfast. And then you have to see answers in the comments. Who knows what is my breakfast order? Okay, are you ready?
put it in the comments what you think I asked for. Can you guess what I asked for? Okay, last one. Okay. Put it in the comments what you think I am. Fantastic, well done. I hope you got them right. Um, now you've learned some breakfast food and drink signs in BSL. So for more BSL videos, don't forget to like this video so I know to make more. Um, I want to do a video about lunch and dinner. So if you're interested in that, please put a comment down below. Um, also subscribe to the channel for more BSL videos. I've also got um, other videos in the pipeline. So let me know what you'd like to learn in BSL and I'll do my best to um, make those videos in due course. Okay, until next time, bye-bye.